Hey everybody, Coach Duality here with another 3v3 analysis. Uh, this time we're here with Bepis, uh, in game as Beastman, so let's go ahead and get this started here. Here is one of the many times in this game Bepis is going to dodge uh, haphazardly, really just when he doesn't need to. Most of the time when you're running around the field, you can, if you have some space, give yourself a dodge for some extra momentum. But more so focused on using those boost pads. Get yourself 12 boost, boost to the next one. Manage it as best as you can, but dodging anywhere around the ball will throw yourself out of the play. Most of the time too long, and you're in a rough spot, uh, especially compared to where you would be if you were grounded and just uh, using your car through there. Here he's throwing himself in the corner when he doesn't need to. You have two teammates in the corner. Uh, so you really need to anchor yourself as the third spot in that play. Protect the net, let them play with it. If they start rotating out, push up. But if not, just keep yourself in net. Uh, if you've got some teammates who tend to go for it and not rotate off quick enough, then you're comfortable guarding the net in your own half. Uh, don't let the other team punish your teammates' mistakes. Just try to play as defensively as possible and rotating on once they've rotated off. Here, hesitating a little bit too much to get to that ball. Have to start getting up a little bit quicker. It seemed to be a good pass down. Uh, teammate was aerialing when he really didn't need to. He should have been on the ground a lot longer running up to that and then making a push, but... Flying in the air, uh, especially around these lower ranks when you can't recover into it quick enough, it's just too risky. There's a... it's a decent pass. Um, one of your teammates are in the right area to play that, but just a little too far, far forward on the ball during the first touch. Good clear by a teammate there. Should be cycling back, letting... Let the, uh, if you're coming back there, let the person in the net play on it before you do. Um, they have priority on the ball there. You have your orange and net, um, so you kind of sort of have to just trust them to make a play on it. From the position you were in, there isn't too much you could have done. If you if you would have taken a line closer to the net, you could have cut that goal off in a challenge, but from the angle you were initially coming in, there really isn't too much you can do. Teammate needs to be getting at this, might be out of boost. Um, you're gonna turn around and go for a wall shot, or like a clear, but jumping out a little bit too early there. You need to make sure you're meeting the ball uh, as late as possible. There's too a little too soft of a touch in the corner. When you make contact around that corner and the enemy half of the pitch, give it some power. Your teammates are gonna be around midfield, so you have to give put some space on that ball so your teammates can get to it before the enemies can. Cycling back here, the other third should be going at this, don't know why he isn't. But Bepis is going to cycle in here. The orange player in net who you see did go at that, um, had priority on that ball, so Bepis coming in at an angle to that corner is just going to cut him off and not really get much done. Here you guys are just really bunched up in their pitch. If you're last man back and they're going up, just give yourself some space. Give them some space, let them play with the ball. Watch the backfield in case of something crazy. Here he might want to start cycling off of that a little bit earlier. Taking a, taking a straighter line back to net and letting a teammate play that. Again, going up a little bit too early on the aerial. And because you you get up that early, you basically you commit your car to a position in the air based on where the ball is going. And if you don't give yourself the time to understand where it's going and where you'll meet it based on the speed, um, then you're kind of just throwing yourself up there and trusting yourself to recover into it. But you need to think about those aerial touches a little bit more before you go at them. Decent touch there, give your team some time and space. Luckily, both players on blue just kind of throw it away there. Again, you guys are a little bit bunched up. Hopefully, orange. some of the other orange players will be cycling off. A little messed up in the midfield. Teammates get to, get to that pretty quickly. Um, pretty weak flick there. Needed to focus on getting some height. 
It's a decent soft touch at the corner. I think I saw a teammate around there, so that's not too bad, but... Again, the ball is just going to be returned to your own pitch. Rough touch from Orange there on that wall. Uh, jumping off, jumping at it from the wall a little bit too late. Needs to get up earlier to push it uh, more up the pitch. He's just knocking that straight out into where the enemies are. Not thinking ahead enough of where his touch will be. There you're dodging in the upfield to get back. You have a player uh, pushing it forward and a third man back, so you want to sort of stay around where that ball is going. If if Blue was quicker to get to that and had better positioning, then they could have easily cleared that away. And if you were upfield while they were doing that, you could have made a nice challenge on them in front of their nets and probably had a pretty easy dunk opportunity. Good job cycling back there initially. You're sort of okay to go for that. Um, not correct on the positioning, but you are able to get it upfield, luckily, and tie it up, so probably a little bit of nerves there just trying to get that last second goal so but really good slight cut there around the enemy as he's going up the enemy took uh, took too long to get to that ball gave himself a little too much confidence to push it away okay good job not just smacking that way at your opponents it's a very good challenge there you should be basically cycling back and watching it from around midfield your third one up, so you'd be third. And as third man back, you have some... I think one or two of the teammates might be rotating back, so it's okay to go for that, but you can still give yourself a little bit more time and meet the ball. You really gotta think about the aerials that you're gonna be going for before you make them. It's... I mean, it might seem easy to hit the ball in an aerial, but you really need to think about where you need to hit the ball um, you know, how much power, what sort of angle you need to get it around the defenders. And there, Blue should have had to save. He, he panicked way too much in his own nets, threw himself at the goal post, needed to just slow down a little bit more and wait for the drop down and play it from there. So, good job capitalizing on that. Great game. Like I said, try to just dodge a little bit less, keep yourself grounded when you can. Um, don't hesitate too much on challenges as the one man. Get yourself up in their face. Uh, like the video if this helped you out, guys. I appreciate everything, and I'll see you around.